Well, we've got the biggest ocean in the world, so why aren't we using it more to desalt it and drink it? In some places, it makes sense. Welcome to our tour of the Carlsbad desalination plant. This billion-dollar desalination plant makes 7% of San Diego's water. We are standing on our 2.5 million gallon storage tank. At the edge of the ocean in Santa Barbara, this plant makes 30% of their fresh water. So in these days of exceptional drought, where else does building another plant make sense? Saudi Arabia, Bermuda, the Bahamas. Not the Bay Area? It would probably double your household water bills. It is very expensive except in Antioch. The technology has improved to the point where it makes economic sense for the city of Antioch. They're just breaking ground here on a new plant that will take 8 million gallons of brackish delta water and turn it into 6 million gallons of drinking water. So right now our construction schedule shows it coming online in July of 2023. That plant has an advantage in that you're, you would be desalting less salty water. Our, our analysis of this project is shows no impact on the water rates for our customers. So isn't our drought desperate enough to make hydrologists build more? I don't think they're that desperate nearly yet. We've done some computer model runs of California's water system under very, very long, very, very deep droughts for, for decades. And even there, you see relatively little desalination, seawater desalination in the mix. See, there's a big problem aside from the expense. You build them, and like a bolt from the blue, droughts over. Most of the desalination plants were mothballed because, uh, because they didn't need them. They had other cheaper sources of water. This is what's crazy. Listen to this. Santa Barbara's plant opened the first time in 1992. You know how long it operated? For three months. The rain returned, and they didn't use it again for 25 years.